Good afternoon. It's Sunday. It's a little bit afternoon. And uh, we're going to pick up where we left off yesterday. Uh, as you can see, uh, I've got a bunch of tape on the saucer. I've got all of these shapes that I painted yellow masked off. I've also gone ahead and masked off the phaser bank so that I can paint those. There are four of these uh, stripes here that I need to mask off. I've got one of them uh, masked. I'm going to put the other three on. And here you can see a better view of what that back uh, flower petal arrangement is. And the side stripes on both sides. You can kind of see what's going on with them. Um, that's where I'm at today. And uh, a note on the uh, color choices. When I say I am painting black on this ship, it's never truly black. You can see the bottom phaser banks are also masked off. It's what the polyscale calls grimy black, which is in a sense very, very dark gray. I find that if you use actual blacker than black black on, on a model like this, it has a tendency to make uh, your model look more toy-like. Uh, because in real life, very, very few things are actually as black as black paint. And then there's that whole scale color issue that says the higher the scale is, or the smaller, yeah, the higher the scale is, the closer it is, or the further it away, yeah, the further away it is from actual size, um, the lighter your colors should shift. They should all kind of shift away from um, what looks good at full size, like say you're painting a car. The same color of red on a car at full scale uh, on a scale model of it looks makes it look toy like so you want to go a little bit lighter uh, depending on how far away you are typically from the the actual thing if that makes any sense so my blacks aren't truly black they're very dark gray um, and the same with my uh, other bright colors like the yellow that I'm using isn't a straight yellow it's a dingy yellow um, the grays, yeah, they, they kind of come and go. Uh, they make their they make their own scale. Um, the blue shouldn't be stark, shiny blue. I'm going to work at knocking that blue down a little bit, make it more dingy to to be more in uh, in line with the scale of the ship. But that's that's just a little bit of color theory for you on a Sunday afternoon. Um, the scary part comes up next because. Uh, I'm dealing with red, and red is an intense color to paint, and you um, really want to get that right. So, first thing I'm going to do is paint the, the, the grimy black. I'm going to do that on all of those, and then when I put the, gray, the red in the airbrush, given the typically shoddy way I clean out an airbrush, it'll have, still have some black left in it, and what that's going to, in effect, do is dull down that bright red. So uh, two for the price of one. Okay, um, again, a lot of tape. There's a lot of tape um, masking off these areas because I'm getting ready to spray, uh, not so much on the in the cells, but on the uh, saucer, uh, the grimy black and uh, red, which are very, very strong colors. If you even just miss them in the wrong spot, they uh, will uh, a dot of that will show up a lot quicker than some other colors. So, very just an extra an extra bit of precaution. Now, unfortunately, it's tough to see orange on orange on orange. Here, me, come on, focus. Um, but what I've got here is orange that's been painted over with yellow that's got yellow tape next to it that's got a brand new piece of orange in the middle of it them's the them's the luck of the draw that's just happens to be the colors that I'm painting but you can see that the inside is a tiny bit smaller than the outside and that little gully there is where the red paint's gonna go so wish me luck okay you can see the uh, red is the red dots where I've sprayed and you can see the black dots where I've uh, sprayed the uh, phaser banks and the windows on the lower. I've already removed the, the black um, masks up top. Also the masks on the uh, these bits on the nacelles. And now I'm going to remove the masks on the bottom. And there is the uh, lower saucer minus all of the black masks. 
Okay, now you can see, let me see if I could do a typical lifeboat. I'm going to do a typical lifeboat here and see if, if it worked. And I'm making sure I am, let's use this one. Okay, you can see I've painted over the red or over the orange mask. When I pop that orange mask off, I wonder if there will be yellow underneath it. Yes, there is yellow underneath it. Now, there looks to be like a little spooky spot there in the center. I may have to scrape that off. And what that looks like is maybe a little bit of red seep through the poke hole. Uh, a little bit of red seep through the poke hole here. And if that's the case, I may be able to take a, a toothpick with a tiny bit of the yellow paint on it and um, just ever so gently cover that up. But let me see. Let me uncover one of these lifeboats and see how she did. Uh, I'm going to have to put the camera down to do this. Hold on a second. <laughs> Look at what I did. Now, like I said, that's a little bit of yellow, a little bit of red. Come on, where? It's a little bit of red there where it poked through the hole there. And I can touch that up with just a toothpick. Let me zoom back out. I can touch that up with a toothpick and a bit of that mustard yellow. And then it'll settle right down in there. It went out. Of, it got it, it went so far, so close in its eyes crossed. But look at that. That is a yellow lifeboat with a red outline around it. Hee <laughs> hee. I love it when a plan comes together. Okay, and here you can see all of the masking has been removed around the outside edges of all of them, leaving these red wreck these red squares here. And I just need to very carefully go in and pop these off to expose Look at that. And I'm doing this live on camera. So you're seeing it as I'm seeing it. And if you think that I would fake these results, you don't know me very well. I am, if, and if anything, let's just say this didn't work and I was trying to cover this up. I would have to go back and repaint every stitch of the saucer around these just to show this off. And I'll tell you the truth, it would be easier starting from scratch on another kit than it would be at this point to try to Oh, look at that one. Nice and clean. Not a speck of red, not a speck of uh, red in the center of that one. Now, this one has a little bit of uh, out of squareness on the outside edge here. Come on, zoom. There you go. Focus. Where it must not have been completely square when I uh, pulled it off so I'm going to try to nibble some of that away with an with the exacto blade to try to knock that down a little bit now outside of getting some custom decals made and really um, this is something that when somebody comes up with a good set of decals to replace the kit version, yeah, you can see a little bit of ugliness in there that I need to uh, uh, I need to touch over. Um, I hope that they do provide these details as properly colored decals. It's just that the kit ones were that horrible. I'll oh, see right next to it a perfect one. Were that horrible gray. And um, 
let's just hope that you know easier for the next guy if if some decal god out there were to uh, include these in his set I'm gonna go ahead and remove the rest of them because you've seen how it goes and um, come back to you when it's done okay I've got I've got the mostly great news like I got one little hiccup that was completely in a hundred percent operator error it does not uh, reflect badly on the procedure the method is sound but I did one little goof off where I somehow between the time that I put it down and painted that mask in the center got twisted just a little bit and it ended up giving me an off-center or a canted uh, um, outline that one is good this is on the bottom of course that one is fine now the bottom ones are different in the top from from the top because the top the bottom ones are raised you actually see the um, you actually see the lifeboat there. It's a detail that's missing on the top. Unfortunately, that also, with that little raised bump, gives you the opportunity to um, squirrel up the piece of vinyl that's going on top of it because you can't just lay it flat. It, it needs to sit on top of that raised area. And I think in the process of doing that and bumping it, it uh, twisted a little bit. So that one's an unfortunateness, but... I'm 99% happy with them. Like I said, they have, um, there's a little bit of spot, uh, there's no more across the top, but this is how they, how they came out on the top. And, let me zoom back out. I got no beef with how any of them turned out on the top. And this is, I mean, if you really want to feel bad about your modeling, take a picture of it and zoom it up, you know, three or four hundred percent, and you'll really start to see all of the flaws, and you'll just refuse to get out of bed the next morning. That's how much it'll oppress you. So nobody should have to look at their model um, with that much of a magnification, but unless you're right up on top of these things, they are pretty darn sweet so I'm calling it a good experiment and like I said there'll be a couple of spots where I need to go back in with that paint just touch a little bit with a toothpick over the uh, over the red where it's where it uh, seeped under uh, or seeped through the uh, the exacto hole now I've also got to paint these reactor thrusters that same yellow I'm gonna do those by hand so uh, I'm going to have the yellow paint out anyway, so I'll just touch all of those at the same time. Okay, one last report before I close it up for the evening. It's late um, Sunday afternoon. I wanted you to see how the uh, those lifeboats turned out once I put the dot of uh, yellow over them. Also, I've got the uh, thrusters painted in. It's a little um, it's a little noticeable because I know where they are and if I point them out to you you'll know where they are the color doesn't exactly match but I'm gonna let them sit overnight and see how it goes I still would like to uh, tackle um, which one is it it is is it that one it's um, I'm not seeing it. Oh, it's this one over here. That's got that little edge corner that I need to. Uh, this guy right here. I need to clean up, clean that up a bit. But I'm gonna let that sit and uh, let's see. The underneath ones look fine. And there's the thrusters underneath, let all that dry in. Um, there's all of that. Now there is some, uh, obviously there's some detail painting left to go around the deflector area. There's a lot of detail painting around the shuttle bay. Uh, I still need to touch up the white, uh, re-establish re the white pattern in the saddle area and on both of the pylons. Uh, 
wanted to get all that done this weekend and I still have tomorrow to do it it's I still have Monday to get that done uh, I felt it uh, better not to rush through it give it time um, I can like I said I still have plenty of time tomorrow to do it I don't know of any uh, further impingements on my uh, schedule for tomorrow so uh, I'll save something for that may not get to the decals tomorrow because of that but uh, uh, better to better to do it better uh, nice and slow and get it done than to rush through it there's no deadline for this one so uh, um, if I get it done great if I don't that's okay too I should at least get the registry decals down and maybe those uh, circles there's no way I can paint those uh, I'm just not that steady a hand and the decals for those aren't as egregious as some of the other ones so there's a circle decal here that it goes on uh, of course the registry um, I'm gonna play with this blue a little bit more try to try to knock some of that down and I've got the the, uh, the patterning on the saddle and on the nacelle uh, rears and that's all that's left really it's it's down to the short rows as they say in farming uh, that blue underside there I'm gonna knock that down it's uh, it, it dried a lot brighter honestly than I painted it I, I know if, I've heard of paints and I've seen paints dry darker I've seen paints dry lighter I've never seen them dry brighter um, I mean that's that's an electric blue compared to what it was when I put it on so that is uh, that's a goal to get that knocked down and get the uh, the blue in here get that knocked down but uh, we're down to the we're down to the whiskers on this thing so uh, now is not the time to rush to the finish line and just take our time and do it right